hey guys good morning um welcome back to my channel so i am a very very fresh slash bare face this morning because i'm going to be running you through a uh, get ready with me so i haven't filmed one of these in a while i can't remember when i last did one um but i have been trying quite a few like new products and stuff you guys know that i love to switch things up um and change things out quite a lot so i thought i would run you through the products that i'm loving at the moment i'm going to try and make this video quite quick and concise because i know that i can blab on quite a lot so i'm just going to be talking through the products i'm using and i'm also going to be doing my hair as well sorting this out because um i had a lot of questions about um my crimped kind of hairstyle the other day so i thought i would do that with you guys show you how easy it is to do and the tools i use as well so what I actually do first is I prep my face with some of this. This is the Pixi Glow Mist. You simply spray it on. Um, I got that in one of my glossy boxes, I think, and it's really good because you can use it to prep, to set, um, or just if your skin's feeling a bit dry, it's really hydrating as well. So I love using that because it's really light and it just sinks straight into your skin. I did also just put on some of this EOS Lip Balm. Once all of that set into my face, I then go straight in with my foundation. I find it so in interesting that people do things in such different orders. I always just go in with my foundation. So, you guys, if you watch my Day in the Life video, you'll know I got um, a new foundation from Nude by Nature. That foundation is really, really good, but I realised I ordered the one that was a light to medium finish. And what I want is, not finished, coverage. What I want is a kind of medium to heavy. Yeah, medium to heavy kind of coverage. Um, so I went online and ordered something else. I actually got this one off of Amazon. Um, but yeah, it's a thicker kind of coverage. And I also got a different shade because the other one I got was a little bit too light for my skin. So I'll link this below. I can't remember what it's called, but it's in the shade silky beige which is n4 i literally just get a foundation brush pump a bit on i really shouldn't be doing this in my viewfinder but this foundation i am obsessed with um it's really good coverage as you can see like i have quite a lot of pink pigmentation to my skin um, so that's why I like to have something that's quite full coverage um, to kind of make sure I'm covering all that pigmentation but it is really really lightweight on your skin which is amazing so the foundation that I was using previously was the body shop one I can't remember what it's called now but the body shop one is really really good but I just kind of felt like it was sitting on my skin and I could just kind of feel it there I was kind of having you know at the end of the day when you just want to get your makeup off whereas i don't have that with this it honestly it sinks in really nicely it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup but you're still getting pretty decent coverage as well so that is my foundation done a lot of days i will just literally put on some foundation a bit of mascara obviously we're in lockdown at the moment so that's what i kind of like normally do day to day but i want to do just like a bit more of a normal i say normal like of the old normal kind of makeup style i want to put on like a full face today i'm just feeling it i'm not going out today the only reason i'm going out is actually to go to a doctor's appointment i'm actually having my smear test done which i have put off for so long but i thought i would tell you guys because i feel like i needed a bit of a nudge to get it done and i i'm sure there are going to be loads of people out there who are in the same boat as me if you need to be booked in for your smear test girls do it because it's really really important and i know it's easy to fall into the mindset with you know covid's thinking oh there's more important things or i don't want to go to the doctors because it's not safe and all that but obviously you need to take care of yourself so if anyone needs to book in for their smear test this is your friendly reminder to do it and don't be like louise and put it off for ages so i'm gonna go and get that done today but anyway back to the makeup um i got a new concealer to try as well I got this off of Amazon as well. I like ordering makeup off of Amazon because you can't try makeup on in stores, obviously, at the moment. Um, and Amazon just always do like prime and it's really quick and easy. So um, this is the ELF or ELF, whatever you want to call it, 16 hour camo concealer in a matte finish. I went for light beige, which is a little bit too light, I think, for my skin type. Um, it's very 
um, good coverage though. So I actually just put a tiny bit on a beauty blender because I don't want to like layer my skin up too much with it. And I feel like when I put it directly on my skin, it's a bit, woo. So I just put a little bit on a beauty blender underneath my eyes and kind of along my nose as well. I also try to kind of like, I get really pink around here. So I put a little bit there. I put on a little bit in my forehead and like a little bit on my chin as well, just to kind of like highlight those areas a little bit more. I'm definitely no makeup artist, artist like not even remotely close. So this is just what I do. I'm not saying this is gospel or what you guys should do, but this is just a realistic kind of easy makeup kind of routine for me. I feel like this camera is like bleaching me out a little bit, but oh well, we move. Right, so once I've done that, I then go in with my bronzer. I'm still using this one. I've been using this about a million years and you can definitely tell because that is looking grim. So this is the Give Them La La um, Ibiza bronzer. So I just go in with like an angled brush and I just literally go along here and then I tend to do around my forehead because I've got quite a big forehead. Um, it kind of brings in the edges there. And then I just go down the center of my nose as well. I actually use, oh my gosh, this table's a mess. I actually use a different brush to do my nose. I use this one. It's just a smaller one. I think this is actually an eyeshadow brush. But what I like to do is just kind of go down the sides of my nose and just bring that in a little bit. Um, and gives it like a little bit more shape. There we go. That is all my bronzer done. And then highlighter. I am still loving this same highlighter. So this is another Glossy Box find. By the way, I have a discount code for Glossy Box. So I'll leave it down in the description box. I'll put it on the screen in case you guys do want to try it out because I honestly personally love it. Um, I do get sent them. Um, so I'll be completely transparent about that. But I was actually a customer beforehand. I love them. I think it's a great way to try out loads of different bits of makeup and stuff. So... Yeah, if you are a big makeup fan, you want to find new brands, definitely go try them out because this is one of the finds that I got in there. I'd never heard of this brand before Glossy Box. It's called Zoeva. Um, and this is the, it's like a gel kind of um, highlighter in the shade Nova. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it's like a kind of, yeah, gooey gel substance. I have a little kind of stippled brush and what I do is I dip it in there and then I actually kind of like tap off a little bit on the lid because I, I like to build up. I don't want to go in too harsh with my highlighter. But this is really nice and kind of hydrating. It feels so good on your skin. It's really nice and kind of refreshing. So I just go along the top of my cheekbone. And then obviously if you want more, you can add more. But I find it easier to kind of blend in a nice way. But yeah, for me, this is like a really good everyday kind of highlighter because it's not glittery or too in your face it's very much like a natural kind of dewy finish um yeah that is why i love it when i say every day i wear this like if i were to go out which i can't at the moment um i'd wear it like on a night out as well i just think it's like a nice natural kind of finish i also run it down the bridge of my nose and then i tend to kind of just put it on the arch of my brows as well all of the makeup that i've used is quite matte so i feel like this is a really nice way just to give your face a little bit of a glow that looks really natural right i think i'm gonna do my brows next so my brows don't look too bad at the moment because i tinted them the other day i actually filmed it showed you guys how i did it so i will link that in case you want to go check that out but i love tinting my brows because i can wake up with brows on already but um it also makes kind of doing my makeup a lot easier as well. So I use, this is the Brow Define Eyebrow Pencil by, who is it by? 
I think the name is like, I've sharpened it so much that the name's not on it. I'll find it and I'll link it down below. But it's really good because it's a pencil, the lid has a sharpener on it, but you also have a little kind of dually end as well to be able to brush it out and make them look more natural. So really, really simple. I just firstly do the kind of bottom line. And then I kind of go along the top line here. I'm trying to show this to you but also look in the mirror so that's most of it and then basically on this bit i just kind of go in and do upward strokes so i like my eyebrows to be quite full and dark but i don't like them to be really really kind of harsh and blocky so i kind of go in like that and then if it's too harsh i can kind of brush it out a little bit like that but that is the difference not a huge amount of difference it's just a little bit fuller and darker right so that is both eyebrows done and then one other product i use is actually this take a brow cream by barry m so it's a shape and define brow gel and it's actually like a brown color so i like kind of setting them up giving them a little bit more of a fluffy look but anyone who has blonde hair even if you tint your eyebrows um like when it the dye fades from your eyebrows i find that i always get like a random really really white blonde hair in my eyebrows so this just makes sure that all of the kind of individual hairs are being covered and you're kind of setting them upwards in more of a kind of fluffy style right i'm gonna move on to my eyes now so the palette i use most of the time is this one it's the iconic london one day to slay eyeshadow palette it has some really really good natural colors in there but i also have oh my gosh let me drop that i also have this one which is the la splash la splash eyeshadow palette um i don't know what this one's called but this one has some really really nice kind of pinky tones that i'm absolutely loving at the moment so i'm gonna go in with this light pink color which is sunstone and then i'm gonna hit it up with a bit of this which is rose quartz um, which is like a slightly darker, um, but more of like a glittery eyeshadow. And then I also go in with more of an angled brush and I just run that rose quartz just along my lash line on the bottom as well. Okay, so next up I am going to put some eyeliner on. I think this is the same one that I used last time I showed you guys. It's the, I can never say this brand, Il Mask. Um, and it's just their liquid eyeliner in black. The only thing I hate about this eyeliner is that the bloody lid's so difficult to get off. So, I mean, tips for this. I literally just run it along, like rest it on my lash line, run it along. And then I try to get my wings the same, um, kind of do a line between my nose and the edge of my eye and just do a little line and then just join it up. Um, but it's not always perfect. Um, I try to just get it as good as I can, to be honest. Okay, that is one eye down. I'm gonna do the other one off camera because I can't handle the pressure. I think those are as even as they are ever going to get, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, that's that done. Um, I then, I'm gonna put eyelashes on today, but I always curl my eyelashes because I feel like it gives them a better base to kind of sit on. And then I go in with a bit of mascara as well because my eyelashes are quite blonde. When I put eyelashes on, false eyelashes, um, they do kind of stand out a little bit. But I put them on bef my mascara on before I do my lashes. This is a new one that I've been using. I've been absolutely loving this. I did love my other one, but this was another glossy box find. I don't know which one I like most. Um, this is Tartist by Tarte. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. It lasts really well as well. And then I just literally give it a little wiggle along my bottom lashes. I don't like to put a lot 
on my bottom lashes but I find that because my bottom lashes are blonde it looks weird if I don't put anything on there. I don't know if you guys can even see, I'm not probably not close enough. Yeah, it is some good stuff. There we go. Um, I, f I just realised people might think it's really weird that I do my eyeliner and I curl my eyelashes but the reason I do it that way is because I find that when my eyelashes are curled it's too difficult to do my eyeliner so that's why I do it that way and it's a bit backwards I just kind of wipe my um, eyelash curlers down afterwards. Okay, let's put some eyelashes on now. So, I shared the these with you guys before. These are from Amazon. They are very, very cheap eyelashes. They're from a brand called Amada. You get 10 pairs in here. You guys can see that I've used quite a few of those. Um, these, I can't remember what style I got. I don't know if it says. It does not say. Anyway, so the, I think it's like 10 quid and you get like 10 lashes. So they're really good for like everyday wear because they're like just cheap, cheerful kind of eyelashes. They do a few different styles. Next time I'm going to go for ones which are a little bit thicker than this. These are a very, very natural wispy lash, but they have like a few different variations of the same thing basically. I don't have the biggest eyes, so I'm going to trim these down just a tiny bit. Now I had a few comments saying that I make this look really easy in my day in the life video. Basically my technique is I kind of roll it like this because um, sometimes I find the eyelashes are a bit too flat. But what I do is I kind of roll it into shape a little bit, make sure it's bending and kind of going to follow the eye, the shape of my eye a lot better. So I don't know if you can see it's got far more of like a natural arc in it. Um, I use the Eyelaw um, Lash Fix Clear Adhesive and my kind of tip is basically don't put too much of this on. Like it's really tempting to just smother the whole lash band in glue but I just don't think you need to. Um, the, lash will, the glue will kind of seep out the sides, it will just look a bit weird. Um, but my next tip is don't put it on straight away like just let it air dry a little bit um wait for the glue to go tacky before you put it on your eye because there's nothing worse than putting a lash on and it's just sliding around you're just trying to keep it in place until it dries so i just let mine kind of air dry a little bit when it's drying you can also kind of do this and like bend it i don't know if you guys can even see what i'm doing i'm just kind of bending it in a u shape so that when i put it on it should just like sit on there and look lovely i bet because i'm filming it so i'm going to do that today but yeah, I just literally place it on then. I then get my tweezers and I just kind of like pull it around, make sure it's exactly where I want it to sit. And that's that. I honestly, I've just been wearing lashes for years and I remember how difficult I used to find putting them on. And it is just practice and finding out like little tricks and techniques that really work for you but like I said getting them into the right shape and making sure the lash glue isn't um fresh is the things that have worked for me and I also just make sure I place it literally right on my lash line right lash number two going on so next thing to do is just my lips and then I'm done so I have this is a MAC um, lip liner. I've had this quite a while actually. I think it's called Edge to Edge Lip Pencil. So I basically, I have a little bit of a tip with this. I don't have the fullest lips, but what I do is I go in like this, do my Cupid's bow, and then I kind of push the line out ever so slightly just to make my lip look a little bit fuller. And then along the bottom, I do just on the outside of the line on my lip and it looks fuller without looking like you've gone over the lines, if that makes sense. just slightly slightly fuller of a lip um i'm not gonna lie i haven't worn this since last summer because it's such a pink summery color um and it's actually a lot more pink than i remembered but i'm gonna put some of this on top this is by elf again 
it's the mocha kiss um lip gloss but i literally put on a tie it and just kind of work it in like that i don't like a lot of it on but just gives it more of a little glow and it feels really nice and hydrated away as well what else have i not done last thing i literally do this is just my little routine every time after i do my makeup i put some hand cream on because my hands get so so dry um this is another shock glossy box one it's bubble tea peach bellini um restoring hand cream and this smells so good it literally smells like peach kind of sweets oh, it smells like candy it's so good Right, so now my makeup is all done, I am gonna do my hair. So I'm gonna go and sit on the floor and get myself set up. We've got a little visitor, haven't we? Got a little Mr. Milo who wants a cuddle. Um, he always has a cuddle on my lap when I do my hair and I have to be so careful I don't burn him. Um, so I'm not just saying this to be like, oh my gosh, my hair is such a mess, but I think my hair is gonna be a proper mess because I didn't brush it after I washed it last night. And I went to bed with it damp and like, yeah, it's very, very knotted and tangled. I don't know why I do this to myself, so I'm just going to give it a proper brush out first. So I toned my hair the other day. Oh my gosh, it is so much. Hang on. I used something new called Shrine and oh my gosh, it has been so good. It's gotten rid of. So this is the first time I've washed it since I toned it um and yeah it it's just so much better than what it was before it was looking so brassy and horrible um i've actually ordered some pink and i think i might try doing like a pink tint to my hair um i have to like muster up the courage first but at least i've ordered it so that when i do feel brave enough to do it i can just do it okay so i feel like that's as not free as it's gonna get um so what i'm gonna use is this so this is my waiver tool this is from amazon can't remember how much it was i think it was about the 30 pound mark so quite affordable and i don't section my hair off or anything you can section it off and do this in layers but for me i just look like hermione granger so i just go in and i just grab a piece of hair at a time and it is so so simple to use you basically just open it up clamp it down and I leave it there for like 10, 15 seconds and then I kind of move it down the hair. I'm going to speed this bit up, otherwise you guys are going to be bored. You want to give me confidence and I just want to breathe it in. Yeah. Tell you that you're marvelous and show you that my heart in this Cause you know I feel so confident Every time you wanna give me compliments Just sit back baby cause I wanna get Inside your brain so hot you can fly away No, no, I need you to float Cause there's something magical Okay, so that's all of my hair done. And the only thing is I have obviously some little like fringy bits, but I do these slightly differently because if you look at the barrel, um, it goes like in and out and then it flicks out. Um, and I don't like it flicking out like this on my fringe. So what I do is I actually flip the barrel the other way around, but I just clamp this for literally a few seconds. Just so you have like a little bit of a wave there, but it's nothing too drastic. There we go, and that is that done. That honestly didn't take me very long at all, probably like 10 minutes. 
and I don't actually even put hairspray on. So when I curl my hair, like do a proper curl, I always have to put hairspray on because my hair does not hold a curl very well. But for some reason with the waves, it really doesn't mind it. This stays honestly for like days. The only other thing that I do is I'm obsessed with this product. So this is by John Frieda. It's the Frizzy Secret Agent Touch Up Cream. And you can probably see I have so many flyaways, like really bad bed head. What you do is you just take a kind of pea size amount. I kind of rub it through my hands and then just kind of gently smooth it through those kind of frizzy bits at the top. So my hair gets really naturally kind of greasy. And this is one of the few products that I can put on the root of my hair. I'm gonna put a little bit more on actually. This is one of the few products that I can put on the root of my hair that won't make it just look like I've been drowned. Um, it's like really nice and lightweight. But honestly, look at all those flyaways have just gone. You can either run it through run it through like the rest of it. If you've just got loads of little flyaways and stuff, it just fixes them down. It's honestly like a miracle product. Um, but yeah, that is me all done now. That's my hair all waved. I love this style of wave. It's very like summery, like mermaid style hair. I'm obsessed with it. It is a lot quicker than curling it. Obviously not as quick as straightening, but I personally love having a wave to my hair. I don't really like my hair when it's dead straight. So that's a very good kind of quick and easy alternative. And those tongs I think are about 30 pounds or something. So not a lot, but that is me all done but i will link everything that i used down below in the description box in case you are curious i'll i'll also um leave the glossy box um discount code down there as well but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video and until next time i will see you guys later